name is Dylan Campbell and I am a senior at USC studying art and design. A lot of my commercial photography and like videography, I go by Dylan Matthew. I do a lot of work within the music industry, but in general, I work a lot in entertainment for my commercial stuff. That is like what I've been doing for like the past three and a half years. I enjoy creating things around music, whether it's like translating songs to visuals for like album art or for promo or music videos or whatnot. I've had stuff published with Spotify and Paper Magazine and Billboard. I work directly with Coupe de May Magazine and Local Wolves Magazine, which I did a lot before the pandemic. But the past year, it's definitely gotten more centered around artists reaching out to me or like management reaching out to me and then I'm working like directly for an artist. I try to accept jobs for artists that I like already listen to or like I look up to in some way. It's a lot easier for me to work creatively with someone when I admire their work or like I enjoy what they do in some capacity. I did a cover shoot for Local Wolves with an artist named Umi. I really enjoy her music. I like love what she does. And I think at that shoot, it just clicked that this is something that I really enjoy doing. And there was kind of like a artist to artist type unspoken thing that felt very natural. And like, if I could have a shoot like that for every shoot, like, oh my God, it would just be amazing. I've started getting more into music videos in the past year, which has been really fun. It's kind of intimidating just because I really don't know that much about it, but to work on a project that like intense for like weeks or a month at a time, just for the editing and color grading and concepting before actually shooting. I find it a lot more creatively rewarding than photo shoots, even though I enjoy doing photo shoots so much for both Heather and for Overdrive. The artist, Conan, already had an idea of like what he kind of wanted the concept to be. And then he and I both brought scenes forward and then kind of just workshopped what we thought the final sequencing should be. It's just relieving, honestly, to have it done. Ultimately, I'm just like proud of the people that worked on it. I want to get a lot more invested into that and like actually understand how larger productions work from like start to finish. Bosky has so much equipment and space to just be able to like make work. For the first two years of college, I like almost every weekend utilize their studio space to just like bring in people for shoots or like test out lighting and learn how I wanted my images to look. I've also met a lot of really cool people that I didn't think would impact my work in any way. So I think connection wise USC is also unbelievably helpful. I try not to ever say no to stuff, even if I think that it's not something that I would want to do. You never know who you'll meet at something, or you never know who will see your work from something that you do, even if you don't think it's like super impactful. Uh, as of right now, I'm currently working on something that goes along with my um, senior thesis. I'm working on a Super 8 film, and it's a continuation of a series that uh, I made with my friend Kendall. I think that I always wanted to center my practice around entertainment in some way. It, it definitely has taken a long time for me to know like exactly what I want to do. And even so, I barely even know what I want to do now. Like I'm graduating in two months and doing freelance in theory sounds awesome, but it's so scary. So we'll see, but I'm gonna try.